about 500 elementary students in the Hickman Mills School District started school year this week at a new school. The district in Kansas City, Missouri actually closed two elementary schools at the end of last year. Board members made a move after an incorrect tax revenue prediction left the district with a $5 million gap in their budget. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan joins us with what impacts the move is having on the school year. Charlie. Good morning, Richard. When I spoke to the superintendent here at Hickman Mills about closing Johnson and Symington School here behind me, she used the word opportunity over and over. She is not looking at this as a setback, but rather as a chance to make some differences and changes here inside the school district that will overall benefit students. So one of those changes that these closures somewhat led to is a shift in which students go to which schools. Sixth graders no longer attend school in the elementary buildings, but they're over in the middle school and there's no more freshman centers. So nine through 12th grades are all together at Ruskin High School and leaders took kindergartners out of early education centers and put them in the elementary school buildings. Now our kindergartners have the opportunity to see what their older peers are doing and what that the expectation is in terms of behavior. So we're excited about that opportunity. There's that word opportunity one more time from Dr. Cargyle. She said in terms of the layoffs as, as a result of closing this school and another one, she was able to offer all impacted staff members the option of coming back and working again for the Hickman Mills School District. And the bottom line here is, of course, the budget. She says that uh, her staff gave her an update this week that the Hickman Mills School District is on track to meet its budget goals by the end of this year. Reporting live, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.